Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements. And it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet. So you can really work the feet through the floor. And today, alongside whatever we are using for a bar, so I have the back of the chair, you might have the edge of the table, the wall, we actually have a couple of exercises at the wall as well. Um, alongside that, we will be using two small hand weights. So they don't have to be official hand weights, they can be tins from your kitchen cupboard. But just two objects of a low level weight to add some resistance to one or two of the exercises. Other than that, as you are stepping into your space, make sure there's just a nice clear space around you to get moving with a bit of a warm up. So, following along with me. And we're going to start by just raising a heel and pressing it down. So we're thinking about the instep of the foot, tracking forwards, knee in line with the ankle. Nice and smooth, barely any transferring of weight. We're thinking about two little hip bones, growing the spine upwards towards the sky. We're open through the collarbones. Just relax through the arms. Start to think about that corset of muscle, that TVA that wraps in. We're going to start to pick up the feet a little bit more, so peeling the whole foot away, replacing down, and still just allowing the arms to rest, growing that spine, sit bones dropping down, skull lifting up. And then we're going to start to make a little more dynamic too, so it's going to come just a little higher, and just whatever is comfortable with the arms at this point could just be relaxed. We're just drawing the knee up, maybe around level with the hip, maybe higher if it's comfortable to do so. And replacing down into the pad through the foot. We're going to keep that lift of the knee going. We're going to reach two arms up now for the sky. Long spine, and then we're going to press the air away. Feel a little bit of resistance under the arms one more time. Reaching up, long on two sides of the body. One more time, reaching down. We're going to change it into a reach across. So we're reaching up on a diagonal. The other hand could come to the hip, it could be free, whatever feels comfortable there. Let's take it across to shoulder height. So rotating through the torso, reaching across. And still just finding that little pad through the foot, little extension through the toes. Take that all down on a low diagonal. We're going to take it back to shoulder once again. Taking it across. And let's just have a little rotation in the body, just following the gaze under the hand. We're going to go on fours, four and three and two. Take it back to shoulder, four and three and two. We're going to take it down again, maybe a little lower this time, maybe a little bit lower in the body. And once more, shoulders again. We're going to take it on twos, start and high. It's two. It's one, at shoulder height. Nice and low to the floor. And back, one more round just like that, reaching up. Across, so you can touch all the way down to your toes. And across, and across, step it out, reach the arms up. Two long sides, press the air away. A big shoulder roll in between. One more time, reach it up. And press. Shoulder roll. And we will take ourselves to our bar. So stepping up to our bar, let's come into a second position to start. So finding that rotation from the top of the leg. Planting the heels roughly in line with the hips, allowing the toes to just fan out into the floor. We'll take a little plie and stretch by dropping the sit bone and lengthening up. So nice and smooth to start with. Nothing else added in, just that little lower through the pelvis. Drawing the top of the spine upwards, both on the way down and on the way up, staying wide through the collarbones. We're going to add in a rotation. So we're going to come down, we're going to rotate to a lunge position, come back and lengthen. So we don't need to step it out at all, it's a really shallow lunge. But it's just that rotation, that swivel on the back foot, lifting the heel and coming back again. And that free hand can just come to the waist, it could come to the first position in front of you, if you prefer. And think about the glutes wrapping around every time we come back into that second position. Let's add more. So we're going to come down, rotate. We're going to come to here, a little coupe, open, then we're going to extend the foot away and drop it down and lengthen. That's the whole thing. We drop 
wing turn, parallel coupe, turn out, extend the foot just off the floor, come down to plie and up. So we've got down, rotate, this is parallel, this is rotated equally on both legs, extend away, come down, lengthen up, go on the way again, rotate, drop up on two sides of the body, firmly planted over that supporting leg, down. If you wanted to, you could add a rise on that supporting foot, it is optional. Here it comes, you could rise and extend, drop the heel down as you come into that plie. Make sure that plie with some resistance, try not to drop down through the foot, think upwards as you lower. We'll go once more inside, come down, come back, parallel, open up, opening through the turn out, Take it down with resistance the last time. We plie, we turn, we are rotating on that standing leg as well. We're keeping it there as we plie and up. Just back to plie and lengthen. Just smooth in both directions, nothing snatched, nothing sharp. And the hands just resting onto the bar for a little bit of support in the balance. We're going to take ourselves into a parallel position. So we're going to toe heel into a little parallel in line with the outside of the hip or with the sit bones. And we're only going as low as to keep the heels down on the floor. Just allowing that turn out to release for a moment. We're going to come back into it with a little frappe, glissé exercise. So we take elements from the glissé movement and the frappe movement from ballet. And what we are taking in is the cross, the cross of the glissé. So the glissé potentially crossing front and back. We're just taking that fit to fit action. And we're also taking that same action on the frappe, the little beat forward and back. Uh, so we're going to take eight. Eight of the glissé, that's the heel one. And then eight of the frappe with the toes. Nine, back down to the glissé to unfold and come down and change. So it's very similar to what we were doing in the player, that same transfer with down and across. So you'd have one, two, three, four, up to eight, six, seven, eight, into the toes. This is the speed, nice and easy. And we'll come down to the heel again, roll and low in the legs. And that's a nine to unfold to change across. So that's what we'll be taking. Let's give it a go, here we go. Coming into our first position, let's extend the foot. Take a flex, take a front and back. And so it's going to travel slightly side to side. So you might want to be on the side of your bar. I miscounted there. Here we go. And back. Two, three, four. It's five. This brings it to a nine to unfold. Plie, change sides. And so what I'm saying is you might be slightly off centered from your bar. And so you might be one hand on the hip. This is just the lower leg. This is the whole leg. Inside thighs crossing. That's nine to unfold. Take it down. Across, let's go and again. So inside thighs and glutes wrapping. This is just the lower leg, upper leg trying to stay nice and still. Down we go. And then it unfolds to plie across, crossing front. Trying to minimize any swaying through the pelvis or through the thigh here. Back to pelvis again, glutes wrapping, TVA wrapping. Unfold. Let's take one to the back. So we've got closing back, two. And it's exactly the same effect. We're just going to unfold from the back. Oh, and to here, two, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and unfold. Take it down, last step. We go to the back. Deep on the breathing. Lengthening through the spine. Last step. Feel those glutes wrapping, feel the turnout muscles working. Finding that extension and length. Let's find a little rise on two feet. Let's find a little balance. So it does not have to be a high arch through the foot, it can be slightly lower, wherever feels comfortable and confident. Woo, she says. Keep wrapping. See if you can take the arms up into a fifth position. Opening leg. They're going to replace all the way down to a bra bar before they come back onto the bar and lowering down through the heels. Walk the feet in, have a little pad, have a little wiggle around. We're going to be fetching our hand weights. We're going to take a little exercise at the wall in a seated position at the wall. So I'm just going to put my top back up because that 
colour is going to be colour. And like magic, it's done. The beauty of editing. So we come to our wall. We come to our wall seat. So I'm thinking of my pelvis in a neutral position, not tilted like an ingrid. There's a little tiny space between my lower back and the wall. My upper back is on the wall, and the back of my head is aiming onto the wall. There's a ponytail in the way. Uh, and so, thighs engaged, pelvic floor lifting, that little tissue out of the box feeling. We are going to have our hand weights, we will jump up and grab those in a second. But just check in with your position. You can come as low as to have the hips in line with the knees, as long as it feels sustainable. We're going to be there for around a minute or so. So if it needs to be slightly higher, absolutely fine. We're going to be taking some movements through the arms from the total bar repertoire from the arms front exercise. So we're just combining two things together. Uh, let's take it back. And let's take it back to just the end of this. And if you've got your hand weights, we'll grab those as well. Coming into our bar position, sorry, our wall position. Finding that place, neutral spine. And we're going to start with the arms down and the palms facing away. Take a breath in. We're going to take a little bicep curl, just up and down. If nothing else moves through the spine. The range is as big as is comfortable to move with, depending on how heavy your weights are. There's a spider over there. Everyone likes spiders. Hopefully he stays over there. We're going to turn it into a hammer curl, so the palms are facing each other. Oh, you don't have to be a little lower. You can take just a little more challenge in the legs. You go as low or as high as is appropriate. And if it's really not working, you can just come to a standing position, still working with the weights. We're going to take the weights up into a shoulder height so we can take a high hammer curl. So we're just curling in and reaching away. Still finding that little lift between the sit bones, that pelvic floor engagement. TDA wrapping. Breathing into the sides and back of the ribs. We're going to turn the palms to the sky so we can bicep curl once again. Try and keep the upper arms lifted. And if you're starting to feel the burn in the thighs, pretty good thing about the glutes wrapping as well. Supporting underneath. We're going to add, or take away from this, we're going to add in a little open, open and close. So opening up and lengthening in. You've just got four more of those to go. How are you doing? It's a little bit of a burn, isn't it? We can do it. We've got one final set. It's going to be a scissor. We'll take it a little slower and come back. We're just going to do four of them. So here's our second one already. Try not to bash your wall with your weight. Coming into your last one to either side. Long on two sides of the spine. Final one. Come back. And you may release. Wow. Lengthen the old legs, shake them off. I said around a minute, it was actually two. But hey, what's a minute between friends? It's fine. We'll pop those weights down. We will come back to those. We're going to take a little bit of lengthening now through the legs. We'll take our rise and lower exercise. Uh, usually, this one I do in any certain pattern, and I always do it the same way, but I've changed it up a little bit today. It starts from parallel, it does. It goes into a first position. It swivels into, you know where it's going, into parallel. It opens out. Uh, we're going to shift over to one side and maintain turn up this one. So we've just done a parallel exercise, back into turn up. Then we're going to come back again. So it comes back all the way to our parallel. Then we go out again the other way. And then we're going to come back, toes, heels, toes. Uh, so the exercise itself, you take three times a lower, a plie, example, and then a rise, you do that three times, you've got a little bend and stretch. So it's not a rush, it's nice and smooth. So we take three of these, a little rise, and we're going to stay up there and just see if we can find a little balance today. And then we're going to take it down and do it to first. So, I'm going to skip it back if you weren't with me. Jump on in, here we go. So, feet either completely together or just a little tiny gap between them in order to facilitate that plie. So the plie, spine just stays lengthened. It's not like a squat. You don't want your sit bones to draw back. They're just going straight up and down. And we're staying wide and proud through the collarbones. We're coming up onto our little rise. We're just testing our balance there. And 
they're coming down, we're swinging out to a first position. So that rotation coming all the way from the top of the leg. It's down. And lengthen. It's up. And just like when we did our plies 15 minutes ago, it's got that same smooth quality. Finding that rise, finding that balance. Come back down. Shift the heels. So now we're in a sort of parallel first just to the outside of the hips. It would be the foot position we would use for a squat, but it's still not a squat. It's still finding head over chest over pelvis all the way through that plie. Stay on your right, a little balance. Take it down, we're gonna come out into our second. This is the same second as we were in when we were taking our plies at the beginning. So we're thinking inside thighs, drawing together as we come into our rise. Thinking like the Eiffel Tower. We're going to come down. We're going to shift just to one foot. Plie. Now you might need to shift nearer to your bum in order to get a decent rise. That's fine. Having the balance assisted by the bum. You don't have to take this balance on this rise. You can put the heel back down. But if you are there, hey, enjoy that moment. So it comes back again to two feet and we lengthen down. We're just gonna go back again and we're gonna take it all the way through again to the other side, little plie, and down and rise, down. Oh, sorry, rise up, little balance there. Bring it down. So it rotates in, this was our parallel first. Drawing up, deep plus, lengthening down the Achilles. Engaging into the calf, finding that little balance point. Think inside thighs, think glutes wrapping. We're going to come down, we're back into our first. We're down. Now, just for timing, I'm going to shorten it just slightly. And we're only going to go into, uh, go out to the other side. We won't do the coming in again. So, we're going to find our balance here. We're going to come down, we're going to rotate, we're back into parallel first. Nice and smooth. And by this point, if you're feeling you don't really need the bar, you can be taking the whole thing with the hands in a first position. And just testing that balance, you can be taking that for a little walk with the arms. And we're back into our first. Again, you could be taking that without the assistance of the bar. With Coming into our third one. So we find our little runs, maybe an opening through the eyes. Coming back down, we're going to close back into first with a plie and reach. So we're going to come back out into our first position, just into our retire or our coupe, if you like, straight away on this side. Finding that length, little float. Come down, rotate, and draw up the foot. So here's our final one. Pressing away into the floor. You might need the assistance of the bar, you might not. But if you do, absolutely fine. Last one. Drawing up on that supporting leg. See if you can find your balance one last time. Glutes wrapping on that supporting leg. I don't like taking the second hand off. There it is. And coming down, replace the foot. Just take a little noodle, a nice easy noodle. A little figure of eight motion with the knee. Finding a bit of internal rotation. It can be nice and wiggly. It can be soft and noodly. We'll take a little step back into our cat stretch. So we'll step it back, hands onto the bar. We're lengthening under the armpits. We're going to draw the spine up to the sky. And then we're going to lengthen away through the tops of the ears. We're going to do two more. And you take it in your own time does not have to be in time with the music. Last one. Opening through the chest, come back down again. Tuck the tailbone under to look towards your bar. We're going to move away from our bar again. And we're going to move ourselves over towards the wall. So for this one, it's going to be hands onto the wall. You could use um, a band for a little bit of uh, resistance. Not resistance, but sticking. <laughs> sticking to the wall, you've got a sticky wall. Um, if you have a fixed bar, that's absolutely fine. Or a mantelpiece, that works too. But if you don't, if you've got the back of the chair, this is going to be a little more stable. So we're going to take an exercise for push-ups. 
Uh, we're going to take four push-ups with a tricep focus. So just stepping about an arm's distance and a little more away from the wall. Coming onto a rise and then actually have a little bit of separation just between the legs. Um, it'll help the swivel, you see where the swivel comes. We're going to take four presses into the wall. Four of them, then we're going to swivel, take the arm out. We'll take a little circle through the arm, up and away, come back again. Four more pushes, same thing on the other side. So big circle, pull the bra down, up over and round, coming back again. So the further your feet are from the bar, the more press you have to do, and the closer your feet are, the more it assists you. So see what you need from this exercise. You might want to step it out as we go along. So we're going to start with the hands onto the wall, stepping the feet back to a distance that you feel is nice, easy to maintain to start with. You can always adjust. So we've got a slow lower and press. We've got four of them, and we're drawing the elbows in close to the body, and we're taking the whole spine as one unit. We're going to rotate. This is a slight side plank. It's not as much as it would be if we were on our elbow, but it's just a little gradual side plank. You come back around, square your hips off, let's square off your shoulders for four more presses. And we're taking pelvis and shoulders with us. Very important to take pelvis with you and it doesn't get stuck behind. That's a long line from the toes up through the pelvis, up through to the top of the head, to the top of the fingers to open. Draw it back around. Let's go once more each side, same version. So we slow lower, we slow press. It's controlled in both directions. The shoulder blade suctioning onto the back of the ribs. We open away. Let's take the arm up this time. Up and away, big wide circle around to come out, feed it back around. Last version like this, elbows drawing inwards. A little press through the knuckles of the hands into the wall. We're gonna open away, long spine, this arm comes up, and forwards away from you and down. Pressure through the hand, come back around. This is going to change, it's going to be one press. We're going to take the knee to the opposite elbow and down. So you could do this variation on the floor as well. A little either, you could do the previous variation on the floor, but it changes a little bit through the feet and that side position. We're going to take, now we're going to take uh, the same thing with the elbow, sorry, the uh, knee coming to the outside of the elbow. Try not to sway too much over to the supporting side. There'll be a little shift of movement, not too far. Lengthen, return, last one, and press. Go lengthen, return, sink the heels down, have a little moment there. Stepping into your bar, releasing through the feet, maybe a little pad through the feet. Maybe a little stretch through the arms, or bending that in. And walking the elbow up towards the sky. This is just easy, easy feet underneath, whatever you need to ease off. Release that arm down, take the other one. Fold it in, fold it. We're gonna go for one more exercise. Really it's three, sort of four. But it's one more exercise, it's a core exercise, we're going to come down into the floor. Uh, if you wanted to, you could take hand weights for this one. They would be working in a stabilising capacity for this. So the weights coming down, yourself coming down into the floor. No bar needed, so make sure you've got some space there. Uh, if you wanted a mat, that would be fine, there a mat, that would be appropriate for this exercise. Uh, so we're going to be taking three exercises from the Stop Pilates uh, repertoire, it's going to be, well it's actually four, <laughs> it's going to be the single leg stretch. We're going to put together the oblique twists and the double leg stretch and we're going to have some scissors on the end. If you wanted to use the weights, it would just be in a stabilising capacity, holding the hands over the shoulders. So they're just there, they don't do anything else unless you really want to, but there's nothing else that I'm going to um, instruct you today, so it would just be for there. And it would only be on the first exercise and the last exercise, the one in the middle, where we have our 
oblique. So it will be coming from a tabletop position. Maybe you can do this with the hands behind the head or with the hands reaching past uh, the shoulder socket. I'll show you that in a second, but we've got oblique twist and centre, oblique twist and centre. Release the hands to take off your top hat, double leg stretch, circle around, hands back behind the head. So that's an option where the neck is a little more supported by the hands. Here it's free and back around. Alternatively, you can rotate without and then take your double leg stretch. So there is the option, I suppose, to have hand weights there, but be very careful, particularly if they're heavy, it's not really gonna be um, appropriate. A low level weight might be okay, but just be aware you're taking two arms effectively overhead. So make sure it's not coming into the neck. If in doubt, just pop the weights down. And you can always pick them up again for our last one, which is the scissors. One or two arms in one way. So what we're going to start off with, our single leg stretch, which is this one, knee to the chest and reaching the leg away, and I will help you to get into position for that. So we're going to find our imprinted spine. That's that little mini contraction between ribs and hips. Your lower back drops down towards the floor. Maybe it touches the floor, maybe it doesn't. Just noticing for yourself what is your imprint. Coming into one, two legs to a tabletop, so you should be able to just sustain this position fairly easily, breathe through it, talk through it, nice and simple. It's not a massive contraction, it's really low level down here. We can add some challenge by adding in our hand weights if we want to, and by flexing up in the top of the body. And then we're taking one leg towards us and one away. And this can go as fast or as slow as is appropriate to you. Try and inhale as the legs pass each other and exhale as they extend. You've got four more to go, here we go. On four, it's three, last two, last one. Come back to tabletop, release the head and the shoulders, release the hands. They can come behind the head or to the outside of the legs. If we're flexing up, up we go again. We've got rotate, come middle. Rotate, come middle, and reach away. See if you can alternate which side starts first. And you can move at a different pace to the music or to me if it's more comfortable. That's, that double leg stretch is quite slow. If it's too much, just move through it. Rotate, come back. Glutes wrap, come back. Taking off your top hat, make sure the arms don't drop behind the head. We're going in for our last one. We've got rotate, return. Remember you can have the hands behind the head for some support as well. Come back around, release the head and the shoulders for a second. Take a tiny little like side to side. Just make sure there's no tension accruing into the neck. We're coming into our last one, which is our scissors. So we're reaching up again through the hands. This can just be hands. You can have this without hand weights if you prefer. If we're flexing, we're nodding the chin. We're exhaling to flex. We're lengthening the legs. We're coming, scissor, reach further. Scissor, reach further. So it's like a little double reach there. As the legs split apart. Three more each side. Let's one. Last two, try and stay square through the pelvis. Last one, keep reaching through the arms, keep flexing the upper body if you can, and release the head and the shoulders, release the arms, release the legs, have a little roll side to side. We are done with our core workout. We can roll ourselves into a seated position. Get rid of those hand weights, pop those off to one side. Let's stay seated for a second. Let's take a little side bend. Reaching up and over, breathing into that side of the body and exhaling away. Take the same the other side. One more, either way. So I'm just sliding the underneath hand to allow that top side of the body to bend. Finding that stretch from the hip bone to the shoulder to the armpit. We'll take a little forward curl, sliding the hands, rounding the spine. Let the spine stretch forward from the Pilates. Draw the air into the sides and back of the lungs. And unroll. Lengthening up. Let's come all the way to standing. Coming around, tucking the toes, pressing back into a downward dog position. 
and then stepping the feet in, dropping the pelvis and rolling through the spine. Flexing wide through the collarbones. And we are done there for today. Thank you very much.